ETSU named George Quarles head a football coach of the program in December. And coach Quarles just went through his first national signing day as the Bucks head coach. And this morning, we are honored to welcome Coach Quarles to Daytime Tri Cities. Good morning, Coach. Good to see you. Good morning, Chris. How are things going? I mean, you've had a journey from uh, coach down. I, I think everybody around here knows you as the head coach down at Maryville. And then you came up here and you went to Furman University to graduate. You, you went to school there. Yes. You were a coach there. You've had quite the journey to get here. Yeah, every, uh, you know, you look back and everything that I've been through has kind of led me to this point. Right. Uh, really excited to to be in Johnson City and you were asking how it was going and mm -hmm. so far so good. Like I tell people, you know, we're still undefeated, uh, <laughs> which is always good. But, you know, it's just been amazing the reception that we've gotten. Uh, everybody's been so nice and welcoming and uh, we've just really been blown away with, with how excited people have been. And you know, when Coach Sanders retired and that, that position came open, how excited were you to get that, that initial phone call? Well, I uh, wasn't sure I would get it. Yeah. And then uh, got a call from Scott Carter, and, yeah. uh, you know, things just kind of rolled from there a little bit. But, you know, it wasn't hard just to feel the uh, passion right. and the energy that comes from Scott and the president as mm -hmm. well, Dr. Nolan, and uh, just how much they love uh, the university and support not just football but all the sports programs. And uh, But it's, like I said, it's been amazing. And you just went through your first national signing day. Did you feel some needs? Did you get the needs filled that you thought you should? Well, I hope so. Yeah. You know, we... Uh, you know, we got some guys that can score touchdowns, we mm -hmm. hope. Uh, got some speed, a right. running back out of South Carolina, Amir Dendy, that we really are excited about. A mm -hmm. uh, really good receiver out of Knoxville, uh, Tommy Winton. Mm -hmm. uh, picked up a, a couple of linemen, a, a transfer defense tackle from uh, Arkansas, and Andy Boykin, and a, a local guy, Chris Everhart, mm -hmm. an offensive lineman who played at Greenville High School. And uh, so. You know, we've still got some more that will probably end up signing a couple more right. before the summer. Uh, but I think from where we were to where we are right now, we're excited. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you know, it's all about players. I, I, all of us realize we're a lot right. better coaches when we get some good players. And the great news for you is the cupboard was not bare when you Absolutely. stepped into this job. You've got some great talent there. on this No team. doubt. And, uh, you know, we've got a lot of good, really good players coming mm -hmm. back. Uh, you know, we lost some players, you know, both inside linebackers, so right. Jared Folks right. and uh, Donovan Manuel to the portal. And, mm -hmm. But um, like I said, it's, it, it's a good place, you know, and right. Coach Sanders had done a great job yes. of uh, getting the program going in that upward mm -hmm. trajectory, and uh, we just got to keep it going in that direction. I was going to ask you, what, what is your number one task? In your mind, what is your number one task going forward? Well, to win championships, you know, and, and I think for me personally, you know, is to develop good relationships with our players, uh, getting to know those guys, because uh, I still can't call them all by name. Right. You know, I'm, I'm learning most of them, but I got to learn them all. Uh, but just getting to know those guys and, and developing those relationships and, you know, putting them in position to be successful. Right. You know, I, that's, a, that's the key. And you've been around the SOCON. You know how tough it is to win championships, to win games in the SOCON. It is a tough, it is a tough conference, but a great conference. It really is, and there aren't any give in this mm -hmm. league. There's not a game that we will play where we're the, you know, five touchdown, right. it, you know, in the, the favorite, you know, and you just got to you got to prepare every week. You got to bring it every yeah. week, and uh, you know it's one of those conferences that there's just no gimmies. That's and, right. And uh, the the team that comes out of this conference will have a chance, right. you know, to make a run in the playoffs. I wish I could sit here and talk football with you all day long, but before I let you go, I got to ask you: We got a big game coming up this week in pro ball. Got the, got the big game coming up. Who's your pick? Rams or Bengals? Well, uh, I think my. My mind says pick the Rams. My heart says pick the Bengals. You I think know, a lot I of think, folks yeah, are that. I think the Rams will probably win, but I'm really for the Bengals. I'd love for, you know, they're closer to us than, than L.A., obviously, but a really big Joe Burrow fan and T. Higgins. He's another East Tennessee right. guy. Yep. Uh, so it would be great to see those guys win. All right. Coach, you got an open door here anytime. Come back and see Thank us. And we'll you, talk Chris. some football. Looking forward to the next football season for the ETSU Buccaneers. If you want to talk about season tickets or anything else to do, check out ETSUBucks.com.